Are you ready? Yeah. Ready? Right now. Now we're gonna do this. We're gonna do the jump. One take. Alright. Hey, if you're watching this video, it's probably because you're a graphic designer and you want to make more money. Graphic designers in most parts of the world are underpaid, and I want to help you fix that. So that's why I'm here. Today we're going to talk about the seven ways that you can make more money as a graphic designer. I'm going to share a little bit of my story. I'm going to show you how you can do it too. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey guys, this is Adrian Boysell, and thank you for watching another one of my videos. Today's video is very important because you need to make more money as a graphic designer if you want to live a great life. Money is just a resource, it's just an energy, and it's really important that you understand you don't need more tools. All you need is more knowledge, and that's what I'm here to give you. So there are seven things that you can do today to earn more money as a graphic designer. The first one I want to share with you is you need to partner up with an agency. That can be a white label agency, an agency like myself that does fulfillment. And you can expand upon your services. If you're only offering graphic design and graphic design only, you're limiting the amount of money that you can make. There are other services like web design, marketing, SEO, lots of great things out there that you can use to help these businesses beyond graphic design, even copywriting, which we're gonna talk about here in a few minutes. But you need to be able to add more services and expand your brand and be able to offer services that are high quality. You don't want cheap, knock off overseas people. You want to actually get high quality providers. They're going to work on your behalf as if you were working on their behalf. So this is really important to know is you can link up with an agency that specializes in pay-per-click, copywriting, videos, or you can find one agency that can do it all, which is really rare to find. And that's what kind of makes us unique. The second thing that you can do is learn marketing. This was the big leap that I made from just doing graphic design to also doing marketing for people. That's where my income really went up. When I first started doing graphic design, I would take two to three hours to design a club flyer. And I would make $30. So I was making like $10 an hour, not a livable wage. So if you want to make more money, you got to add the marketing side to it, the messaging, the content, all those pieces that go into it. That's what makes a graphic a flyer, a banner, whatever it is, powerful. That's what actually gets people to take action is the content and the marketing that's behind that. So you really need to learn marketing. There's books like The Ultimate Sales Machine. There's books like Contagious by Jonah Berger. There's a lot of books and resources out, out there for you to learn, including this channel. You know, if you've ever watched one of these videos, that's what I talk about more than anything. SEO, pay-per-click advertising, lead generation, LinkedIn. There's lots of ways for you to expand and learn marketing. You really need to learn the marketing side of your business if you want to make more money, because that's what people are really wanting is an ROI. They're not just paying you for a flyer just to get a nice flyer. They want to actually use it to promote their business to drive more revenue, just like you want and why you're watching this video, right? Very important. A third option for you, and this is not for everybody. This definitely wasn't for me. I know a little bit, but it's learning code. You can go to a code school like Code Camp or Code Academy. There's lots of places where you can learn how to code. If you really wanted to, you could find uh, people that are teaching it on YouTube and learn how to code, whether that's in Python, CSS, HTML, JavaScript. There's lots of different types of code. And once you learn the foundations of it, you can just basically change the different types of code that you learn. And it's not that hard. It's like learning multiple languages. So learning how to code, I mean, coders make anywhere from $100,000 to $250,000 a year. That's a way you can supplement your income. If you don't want to learn how to code, then again, I'm going to go back to what I said the first time, and that's partnering up with somebody that does know how to code. Finding joint venture partners, whether it's an agency or another individual to partner up with, is gonna give you an increase of what the services are that you offer, and that's gonna bring more value to your clients. The fourth thing that you can do, and this is another great one, this is actually something that I've been honing in on because I'm writing a book right now. It's all about marketing, it's all about designing your future, and it's copywriting. Learning how to write, learning how to write copy and write it well, is a very unique and challenging topic. It's taken me years and years of co coaches and mentors and coaching and classes and all kinds of YouTube videos to learn copywriting in a way that actually is gonna drive action. So it's not just the marketing, but it's marketing with good copy. That's what's gonna drive people to wanna work with you. It's gonna help you build trust. It's gonna help you build that likability factor and you're gonna be able to be authentic. There's probably something unique about your personality that you can incorporate into your writing, but becoming a copywriter is a really unique strategy because you can sell that copy and that copy is something that you own and you can start to get a piece of the action, which we're also gonna talk about here in just a minute. The fifth one, and this is something that I'm just now exploring myself and I made a video about it a couple weeks ago. In fact, we'll tag it up here at the top, so we'll make sure we know that is selling NFTs. 
Lots of people are selling NFTs. You can do animated NFTs, you can do static images. There are NFTs that are selling for millions of dollars. It's wild and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Snoop Dogg just sold an NFT with a Snoop Dogg chain. There's all kinds of people that are selling NFTs and NFTs are non-fungible tokens. They're just basically digital assets that you can put up on a marketplace and sell. And it's a lot of people that are gonna basically bid on it. And next thing you know, somebody buys your stuff for a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollars. It's another way for you to generate income from existing artwork that you may already be designing that's just sitting there doing nothing right now. Which leads me to another one, and this is the sixth one here, and that's selling stock images. There's a lot of stock sites like iStock, Adobe Stock, and Vado. There's tons of marketplaces. You can look them up online and find marketplaces where you can buy stock images. I'm talking illustrations, icons, fonts, patterns. There's all kinds of just simple stuff and even photography. Maybe you have a passion for photography and you've been shooting photos on the weekends when you're not working your nine to five. You can go out and take those photos, upload them to a stock site and sell them and get download after download and you get paid for every single one of those. That is a way to generate what I call passive income. This is a really good opportunity for graphic designers because you're making money while you sleep. As people are downloading your images, you're just clocking in and generating income. So number six is a really good one. This is one I wanted to share with you because this is something that I haven't really gone into, but I'm going to start exploring as I get more resources, as my team gets bigger. We're gonna start selling stuff that we design on marketplaces like that. And that's another way that you can make more money too. The seventh way, and I want you to listen to this very, very carefully because this is a big one, is hybrid deals with clients. What I mean by a hybrid deal is if a client comes to you and let's just say they have a plumbing company and they ask you to design a flyer or an advertisement for YouTube or a video or whatever it is that they're asking you to create for them, you wanna understand what is the outcome that they want from that. Are they trying to generate a thousand clients, a hundred clients, a million clients? What's the budget that they're putting towards this? When you understand the dynamics of the marketing of that piece and you know the value that that brings to the business, you can now give them a quote and say, hey, I'm gonna charge you for the creation of this. Let's just say it's $100 for the flyer, but the true value I bring is the consulting, is the copywriting, is the marketing strategy, and all the pieces that what you're truly wanting from me is not the design. You can go and get a design anywhere. What you want is the outcome. And in order for you to get this outcome, this is what you're gonna to need to do, A, B, and C. This is what you tell your clients, right? And so you can actually sell a hybrid deal and say, look, if I'm gonna get you design you this piece, do the copywriting, and help you come up with a marketing strategy, I'm just asking for a fair percentage. Would you be willing to give me 10% if I can make this campaign hit exactly the goal? And if it hits half of that, then I'll take 5%. If it hits half of that, then I'll take 2%. But I would love to have some skin in the game, some performance-based stuff, to actually make sure that this campaign is gonna be super successful, and that you know that I'm invested into this too. I have nine companies right now that I have these types of deals with, anywhere from 10% all the way up to 40% stake in the profit, in the performance. So the more successful these companies are, the more money I'm gonna make. So this is a really good deal. This is something you should be implementing into your business as well and not just be a graphic designer and relying on doing design work to feed your family. So that's my goal. That's what I wanted to help you guys out with today. I'm so grateful that you're back here for another video. And if this is your first time, smash that subscribe button, hit the like button and drop a comment, introduce yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boisel and as always, keep looking up.